Hello everyone, hope we are doing well. Today we are going to discuss about map and map to operator from RxJS. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithms. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. We have discussed about switch map, merge map and concat map and those are the higher order maps. And today we will see the normal map. The normal map means the map operator from RxJS. It is similar as the map we have in our array. So suppose we have a a equals to an array. So I'm just uh, putting some value. Suppose I will add as a B here. I'm giving very bad name. So I'll just use a dot map and that will access the value and that will just return a value multiply by two. Now the B will be like two and four. So this is what happening the normal map which comes with the array. But our RxJS map and map to operator will do the same but with an object level. So we're going to see that. So I'll just delete this one. So I'll do the same with the off observable. And if you don't know what is off, so off will just give you the stream of data. So it will first emit one, then two, then three and four, and it will work syn synchronously. And what we'll do, we'll pipe our map observable with the off. So again, here again, I will ask, access the value and we'll just do B plus 10. And we can subscribe this one and we'll just console.log. So I'll save. Now when we'll go to the browser, I'll just take the browser here and I will try to refresh the page. So here you can see we're getting 11, 12, 13 and 14, which in short, we are getting the value here. And this is similar like how, what it will do in the map of the array. So this is what the map operator is. But how we can use it pretty efficiently or where you gonna use it is suppose you are getting a long list of data or a long list of object which have suppose 30 columns with 30 properties and you need only two or three properties. And at that time, what you gonna do? And to show you that, what we're going to do is we're going to make one REST call to this API and this is a this is giving us a, some dummy da data but think like you have 40 to 50 properties but you need only two of them. So here what we'll do we, we will extract only ID and those things are completed or not. Our interest will be only on that. So we'll see how we're gonna extract that using your map operator okay. So we'll go to our code. So here and in the service I have a uh, get service we just return giving the URL and that returning us the observable of the get call. So here what well, I will just use the service HTTP service dot get and we're going to use this link the to do's. So in the to do's so this will return us a observable of response object and so that here we'll pipe this one with our map operator. Now what the result will come here as a array of objects. Okay. So now your if you see your data, suppose you I will see response. Now the response is an array. So what we'll do here is we'll use normal array dot map in the response so re response dot map and here we'll use the data suppose and what we'll do is we'll return our id is our data dot id and what else is the Okay, completed. So we'll copy that one. We'll go here and the completed each data dot completed. 
okay so here it's saying is not a property of object so because we haven't uh, defined the type so for now i will give that as any so it will go away so now it is fine now we need to subscribe to this observable so we'll just use this one to console log so what the result will be now is we'll get all these values means list of uh, all these objects but we, it will have only two fields id and completed that's what we are returning here from the map so we'll go to our our tab so okay i will refresh it again so here if you see we are hitting the server and we got the all 200 records and if i just expand one here you can see we are getting only two values so you can see all it's id completed id and completed that we are getting for all the values that's what we have changed in the map but if you remove the this map from here i think this much then we're going to get the all the record from our service okay that's what we are seeing here like all user id map and like the title and the completed so that's what the map will help you so in this case we are getting only four four properties but what happened in the real scenario you will get lot of pro, lot of uh, fields per object and this will be this will happen mainly if you are accessing to some api or some database which is shared across multiple teams or which is a dump data or which is a data lake so you'll get lots of columns or lots of data you can manipulate in in your query but if you are getting lot of data then this is the way you can handle it in the front end so this is what your map is now we'll see what is the map 2 and map 2 is pretty similar to map but it will going to return always a single value so what i will do so i will just try to comment this one for now and i will just change this to map 2 and here we'll just import that one and now if i want to show you something then i will change i will show you what the what wrong here is it, it, it's not showing any error but if you will go to the browser here you will see you got this whole printed because map2 is emitting the value whatever you provide inside that one so here it's thinking like it's a string and that's what is get emitted so that means the map2 is considering the whole statement as string and it is emitting how many number of value you are getting to that map here we are getting four values so if we will go here here we are seeing four times the same value is got printed so map to you will going to use in very few scenario suppose think like you have to count the value you need to print it somewhere some if some request came and you need to show a pop-up or something then you can use it so i'll just try to print request here you see now in in our browser you will get request four times so that's it for today guys today we saw what is a map and how do you want to use it to either li like a array dot map or how you can destructure your whole request and get the what the value you want and we saw what is a map two and how you can get the number of uh, value what is emitted by using the map two so please hit the like button if you are liking the video till now and please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss the future videos and please share this video among your friends family colleague and let them know how they can use map and map two please give some valuable comment in the comment section below we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye